greetings from the Basilica of the National Shrine of the Little Flower in San Antonio, Texas. We invite you to join us over the next nine days for this novena of reflections in preparation for the feast day of St. Therese on October 1st. And our theme for these nine reflections will be elements of the little way of St. Therese of Lisieux. And on this first day of our novena, the element we will focus on is St. Therese's confidence in God's merciful love. St. Therese wrote to one of her sisters, my way is all confidence and love. And St. Therese had this childlike trust, this childlike confidence in God's love for her. Scripture tells us, God so loved the world that he sent his only Son, that all who believe in him might have eternal life. Scripture tells us that God is love. And uh, also, as St. John also says in his first letter, he says, In this is love, not that we have loved God, but that he loved us and sent his Son as expiation for our sins. So God always loves us first. God takes the initiative in loving us. And Saint Therese took God at his word uh, and trusted in his love for her with great confidence and a personal love for her. I think, you know, if you ask most people, do you believe in God? They will say yes. And if you ask them, Does, do you believe that God loves everyone? I believe they'll also say yes. But it's when we reflect, does God really love me? That's when we might uh, you know, come up with all sorts of doubts. Our enemy will present to us all the reasons why God shouldn't love us and tempt us to disbelieve in God's love. And this is how uh, it's been since the very beginning. We look at the book of Genesis, chapter 3, when the serpent tests Eve. What does he say? How does he tempt her? First, he asks her, Did God really tell you not to eat from any of the trees in the garden? So he distorts God's commandment. We hear the woman answered the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the trees in the garden. It is only about the fruit of the tree in the middle of the garden that God said, You shall not eat it or even touch it, lest you die. But the serpent said to the woman, You certainly will not die. No, God knows well that the moment you eat of it, your eyes will be opened, and you will be like gods who know what is good and what is bad. So the serpent doesn't tempt the woman to believe that God doesn't exist. No, he doesn't tempt her to atheism. What he tempts her is to a lack of trust in God's truthfulness and in his goodness and in his generous love. He makes God out to be a liar and uh, portrays God as being selfish, not wanting to share his life, his gifts uh, with the woman and with uh, the man. And she gives in to this temptation. Uh, in contrast, we might say that St. Therese did not give in to that temptation to doubt God's generous and merciful love for her. She continued to take God at his word, that he is love, and that uh, love consists in this, not our love for God, but God's love for us, and that he sent his son Jesus as an expiation for our sins. So St. Therese had this confidence in God's personal love for her and for each person. 
And from the very beginning of her spiritual autobiography, The Story of a Soul, uh, St. Therese expresses this, her understanding of God's personal love for each soul. She's reflecting on the mystery of nature uh, and all the variety uh, of beauty in nature, from the tall cedars uh, to the lilies and the roses to the simplest uh, wildflower in the field. And she writes, just as the sun shines simultaneously on the tall cedars and on each little flower, as though it were alone on the earth, so our Lord is occupied particularly with each soul, as though there were no others like him. And just as in nature all the seasons are arranged in such a way as to make the humblest daisy bloom on a set day, in the same way, everything works out for the good of each soul. So we pray, as we begin this novena, that St. Therese might lead each one of us to having the same childlike, trusting confidence in God's personal love for each one of us. And may this confidence in God's love be the foundation of our way of discipleship, uh, just as this confidence in God's merciful love was the foundation of St. Therese's own little way of confidence and love. Thank you.